I think it still hasn't sunk in that I play for Liverpool. I'm the youngest Liverpool women's captain. Nice to meet you, no worries. I've been playing for Liverpool since I was eight. Dreams can't come true. I'm Missy Bo Cairns and this is my city. There's nowhere like Liverpool. I think it's different from everywhere else in the world. Community is a big part of Liverpool. Like, I'm so close with all my family and friends, and I think most families are the same. The personalities and the way that Scousers come across, I think it's unique. You can spot a Scouser from a mile off. It's a, such a small place, and everyone knows everyone, and you can't go anywhere without bumping into people, and I think that's what's so nice about it. Some five-a-side team, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Since I was a kid with my family, we've always come, watched Liverpool. We've got season tickets. Every game I can go to, I, I come. When we come the match, I always have one of my little cousins with me or, like, my nephew or... I'm always with my family when I come. It's nice because you don't see them all every day, but it's like we reunite at the match. And that's Georgie Porgy is where I go for my pie and mash before every home game. I have something to eat. Terry Daly puts the orders in, my dad's mate. He goes to all the matches, like home and away, he does not miss a game. The atmosphere, like on a match day here, you'll be crowds and crowds. The noise, the fans are singing and the red everywhere. Like, it's like a swarm. You've got to be here to see it and to feel the atmosphere. I think videos don't do it justice. Hopefully, now that I've broken into the team, we get another opportunity to play at Anfield because it'd be a dream come true to play on the pitch. We played here against Everton, but I was on the bench, so I warmed up here. <laughs> I'm starting to tick things off. We've just been promoted. I've won my first trophy. Dreams are coming true. This is the Rotunda ABC, home of champions. I've got it, like... Left hook. <laughs> in Liverpool, the two main sports I'd say is football, then I'd say boxing and then UFC. And here, there's all three come. There's a lot of boxers who've done the city proud, the likes of the Smith brothers, Natasha Jonas, Tony Bellio. Jamie Carragher even comes here now every morning and trains. Meatball Molly's in doing a pad sessions. I like to come here when I'm not in football. Sometimes I get in the ring, I do a few pads. I like the atmosphere, I like doing different training. People come just because it's a good atmosphere and they like having a laugh and like it's no negativity. Just come, socialise with your mates. When I'm in here, I'm in their neck of the woods, I'm in their gym, so whatever they're doing, I've got to do. Sometimes I struggle. The sessions are hard, but say if we was playing football, I might run rings around them. I'm not getting it easy. I get treated like I am one of the boxers. Whatever session's on, I'm doing it, I'm joining in. Boxing and fighting is one thing that Liverpool should be proud of. Family is everything. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am. When I was a kid, it was always football every night. We don't really know any different, really. No. Play sport from when no. she woke up till she went to sleep, basically. Nothing's really changed where I'm in training every day now. I was always doing that when I was a kid anyway. And when Bo was younger, obviously, this was the house where they all used to come and play footballs. 20 of us in the garden. She always moaning at me for kicking a ball in here, aren't you? Does my mum's head in. I was out of breath there. Me and her, it's always football. Probably our first bit of conversation when she comes home from is how to train and go. Yeah. She wasn't a bit girly, she wouldn't wear dresses. I think we've still got dresses brand new upstairs that she never ever wore. Every time I had the opportunity when the weather was nice, even if it was raining, I'd be outside playing football and yeah, my mum was making like 15 juices, sometimes tea for carbonara for 10. It's just that atmosphere around here. I'd wear footy boots on here and my mum would be like, the grass! When I haven't got a football kit, I like getting my hair and my makeup done. I do like getting done up and I think it's a change to get out of kit for a bit. Hair, your makeup, especially in Liverpool, I think it's a big thing. When I'm not playing football or I've got like a day off or evening off, I like going for my tea. As soon as I finish training, I'm messaging my friends, what are you doing? Have you just finished work? We've been mates for like seven, eight years. I feel like we don't really well, ever talk well, about that's football. What I like. She goes pop. to footy and then comes away from it and then it does then. That's and we just jangle about like yeah. everyday life. Yeah, she's um, their normal. 
in some ways. Just get asked for to get out of them and not Yeah. <laughs> Still have my same mates from when I was younger and that's not going to change. You know, I've gone from a little tomboy kid though to like a proper superstar, haven't you? I'll take that. Cheers. <laughs> Being a women's footballer now, it's a great time to be one. I've come into the game, the game's getting bigger and bigger and the more games that get showed on TV, the more times it gets watched. Little things can make the game grow and more so as well change people's mindsets. The, the men's game and the women's game is completely different but watching it, a game of football, I just want to make everyone in Liverpool proud and be someone that young girls or young boys can look up to. And, I'm so proud to play for Liverpool because it's what my family love. Liverpool's such a big club and such a great city. I'm made up and from Liverpool. I wouldn't want to be from anywhere else. Up the Reds.